Inspiration can take many forms. Here, we looked at it through the wonder of flight. Ever since the Wright brothers first flew in 1903, the impact of what they did then over these last 118 years changed the world. I grew up in Wadsworth, Ohio. And uh, from the time I was about eight years old, all I heard about were astronauts because in Ohio, we had some of the first few astronauts in the astronaut program. So from the time I was eight years old, I said, wow, that looks like a cool job. I want to do that. I met the F-22 demo team pilot during the flight show. I saw him fly and I was like, mom, I really want to do this. And the airplane's really cool to me. There's nothing better than tasting flight for the first time. The Lone Star Flight Museum is a wonderful facility and place for families and kids to come. The mission of the museum is to celebrate flight and achievements in Texas aviation history and to educate and engage our youth through science, technology, engineering, and math, STEM. Being able to learn how flight actually comes into play. It's all of us, when we look into the sky and see these gigantic machines, it's a wonder to all of us. How is that thing staying up in the air? And how do we transport people and goods over time and space? And one of the things that we really love about this museum is all those hands-on activities. Everything is integrated so the students are reading and doing math within a science and social studies concept. That's what we love about this museum. If you're a typical uh, kid growing up, you, you might not ever be exposed to aviation from this vantage point. But wow, we have seen something that is, is, is tremendous. Being able to get this close where they can touch the wings of these airplanes, check off a list to say, is this aircraft safe? Get in the flight simulators. That opens up so many more doors. What we love about this museum when they come in, there's, I don't know, 25 or 30 hands-on projects that the students participate in to figure out how things fly. The STEM careers have exploded. There's been a 79% increase in the STEM careers. Look how energized the kids are. Let's get that back in the classrooms every day. We believe that aviation inspires achievement and endless possibilities. And it's that belief that drives our mission and our desire to be a destination experience of choice as we go off into the future. My favorite part of being a Dream Ambassador is helping them in the flight simulators because that's the first time learning how to fly and control an airplane. And that makes me happy that I was there to help them. And you never know, you can be talking to the next pilot or president who came to you to learn how to fly. You can't be what you can't see. And when they get here, they see it, and yes, their eyes are opened up, but their mind is opened up, and that's what's magical. They're right up close. They're within feet of an airplane, and they can see what it looks like. They can see the engine. They can see the intakes. They can see the propellers and the control surfaces. They can see that this is much more than just the, a shape flying overhead that makes a lot of noise. And for many, that's enough to excite the senses that there is something out there that can, uh, can inspire them to do greater things. The Lone Star Flight Museum provides a great context for all the history of avionics and the science, really making sure that we prepare our students for the careers that are out there now and to really get them ready for what is not even invented yet. For students to come over here, get a, a look at all the educational opportunities that the Lone Star Flight Museum has that, at its fingertips, I think it's just terrific. But our students, when they get to see something like this and their minds are opened up, they change how they will contribute to society. I got to do this discovery flight because I was with the Junior Ambassadors. And after that, it just it was through the roof from there. Like, I was like, I gotta fly, I gotta fly, I have to do this, I have to fly. The opportunities that come through aviation are, are many. Engineers design the airplanes, they design the airports, they design the command and control systems and the flight control systems. They design all kinds of things. The operators, the pilots, and the maintainers that keep the airplanes in the air, the controllers that control everything that flies. Lone Star Flight Museum is sort of a little gem. I love that there are things like this available to our residents to our visitors to come and, and see. The greater Houston area has over a million kids in it. They come from all over. 
In large part, they are a majority, minority, underserved, and underrepresented group of kids. We want to make sure that all of them have the opportunity to come and visit with us, see what it is that's here, to be up close to these airplanes, and realize that there is something else out there beyond what they see on an everyday basis. After I graduated from college with my bachelor's degree in architecture, I was going to join the Air Force. And hopefully, if the Raptors are still around, fly one of those. We are much more than just a museum. While it is true that we are surrounded by these, uh, these wonderful aircraft that represent a past, this also represents the future because all of these airplanes that we have here were designed, built, flown by people. And those people started out as youngsters. When we allow our students to participate, again, the sky is the limit. And it awakens them to so many possibilities for their own life. And that's amazing. I honestly didn't know anything about flight before this. I didn't know what I wanted to do, where I wanted to go. And I found my purpose here at the museum.